Hey, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Maddie, and today I'll be sharing all the books that I read this spring. Spring was a very weird reading month for me because I feel like I didn't read a lot, but I actually kind of did. I believe I read a total of 51 books in spring, but looking back on my wrap-ups for the months of March, April, and May, I read over 20 books in March, so that's where the majority of my reading came from, but in April and May, I barely read at all, so that's why I kind of feel like I haven't read that much, but I actually have. It's just most of my reading took place in March, so that's kind of cool. At least I actually read more than I thought I did. So how these videos work is I mention every book that I read in spring, then at the end I'll go into more detail on the top five books that I read this season. So let's just start off with the month of March. So I started off Spring by reading Hopeless by Colleen Hoover, which I gave five stars. Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which I gave five stars. Lover Eternal by J.R. Ward, the second book in the Black Dugger Brotherhood series, and I gave this four stars. Rated X by Ella Fox, which I gave two stars. Tempting the Best Man by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and I gave this four stars. Fruits Basket by Natsuki Takia, I reread the entire series this season, so this mention is going to count for all of the volumes because there's 23 volumes. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them. That'll take forever. So I read this entire series in spring and my ratings ranged from four to five stars for all of them. Tempting the Player by Jennifer L. Armentrout, the second book to the Gamble Brothers series, and I gave this two stars. Roping the Cowboy by Ella Fox and I gave this one star. Renaissance Man by Tessa Bailey and I gave this four stars. Closer by Alexa Riley and I gave this two stars. Secrets of a Summer Night by Elisa Claypez and I gave this two stars. Fake Love by Claire Contreras which I gave three stars. Heavy Equipment by Sky Warren and I gave this five stars. Red Hot Winter by Kay Webster and I gave this one star. Swipe by Kennedy Ryan which I gave four stars. This Is Where It Ends by Mariki Nijkamp and I gave this four stars. Breath of Fire by Katherine Nolan and I gave this five stars. Whatever Life Throws at You by Julie Cross, and I gave this one star. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, which I gave three stars. Bombshell by Jen Frederick, which I gave three stars. Made It to the Reaper by Alexa Riley, which I gave five stars. And finally for March, I have Onyx by Jennifer L. Armitrout, the second book to the Lux series, and I gave this four stars. Moving on to April. So in April, I continued reading the Fruits Basket series, and then I read... I started one more manga series. So that one is Princess Jellyfish by Akiko Hikashimura, and I gave the first volume, which I read that month, four stars. Now going on to May. So in May, again, continued reading the Fruits Basket series. Then I picked up Fruits Basket Another, volumes one and two, by Natsuki Takia, which is a spinoff to the Fruits Basket series. I gave volume one four stars and volume two five stars. And lastly for May, I have Twinkle Stars by Natsuki Takia. I read volumes one, two, and three, which volume three is in this one. I gave volume one four stars and volumes two and three five stars. Those are all of the books that I read in spring. Now I'll share the top five books that I read this season in order from least to most favorite. Coming in at number five is This Is Where It Ends by Mariki Nijkamp. This one I read during the Buzzword Readathon and I'm really glad I finally picked it up. This one is about a school shooting that takes place in a single day, which is really cool because I've never read a book that takes place in just a day. This one takes place in just a few hours, so it was really cool seeing all this stuff happen in such a short amount of time. This book was really sad because it does deal with a school shooting, so I definitely felt the emotions with it, but I also really love the characters and kind of love the hopeful message of it at the end. It really stuck with me, and I think it's going to be a very memorable book, so I really enjoyed it. In fourth place is How to Love by Katie Catugno, another book I read for the Buzzword Readathon. I remember that. I had had this book on my TBR for so long and wish I had gotten to it sooner because I really ended up enjoying this book. This one follows a girl who is 
pregnant or she was pregnant and now her daughter is two years old and the father of her baby just left town when she was pregnant but now two years later he returns to town so they kind of rekindle the relationship that starts off rocky at first but it turns into kind of a second chance in romance this book was so sweet i enjoyed it so much i really felt for these characters and their romance so it was a very enjoyable book it made me really want to check out more books by katie patugno because she has a pretty good selection of books out that i haven't read yet this is the first book that i've read by her and i'm sure it won't be the last at number three is twinkle stars by natsuki takia this is the most recent book i read and really ended up enjoying. This counts for the entire series that I've read so far, not just volume one. This one is not as good as Fruits Basket since this author is the same author of Fruits Basket and I didn't really expect it to be, but it still is great. And it's a series that I am in the middle of, so I have a lot more to read and I can't wait to see what else happens in the series. Short summary on this one, it is about a girl who lives with her cousin because her parents don't really get along well with her so she is living with her cousin for the time being. So it is her birthday and when she comes home she finds a stranger there ready to celebrate her birthday with her and when it comes time for this guy to leave he tells her something that truly means a lot to her, so much so that she kind of falls in love with him right on the spot. So because she doesn't know him at all she doesn't know where he lives and he just gets up and leaves she is on a mission to try to find him but when she does end up finding him the meeting doesn't go so well this one is really heavy on the romance which i love because i love romance i love romance books so i've been really enjoying the romance going on in this one it's a little weird because this guy is really unpredictable he's very back and forth on his feelings for the main character so the romance in this is kind of rocky but at the same time it does have its sweet moments and I'm really looking forward to how it progresses from what I've read so far so I'm really excited to keep on continuing with this series and at number two I have another series by Natsuki Takia who I guess is quickly becoming my favorite manga author I guess so that one is Fruits Basket Another which this one counts for volumes one and two since I read both of them this one is a spin-off to the Fruits Basket series but it follows the characters in the original series children so we're following the next generation of the Soma family which is really really cool because it causes for a lot of nostalgic moments throughout the series because I already know the original characters so seeing their children just makes me so happy and I love how much their children love their parents because I'm like I love your parents just as much because they're amazing not only that aside from the fact that we're following characters we already know children besides that these characters are great on their own I'm really enjoying the Soma family members that we've been introduced to so far they all have their individual personalities my favorite for sure is Hajime because he's the son of Kyo from Fruits Basket and Kyo is my favorite character of all time so of course I'm gonna love his son the third volume comes out in October and I'm anxiously awaiting for it I need it right now but I have to wait a few more months. So I'm really excited to finish off the series since that will be the last volume coming out. It just can't come fast enough. Like, I need it right now. And lastly, the, my favorite book that I read this spring is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. The very first book that I read this season. It feels like ages ago that I read this. I love this one. It's not my favorite Colleen Hoover book. My favorite still is maybe someday, but this one I think is a very close second. In this one, short summary, we follow a girl who meets this guy when she starts um, high school for the first time, and she quickly develops feelings for this guy, but sh what she doesn't realize is she has a closer connection to this guy than she thinks she does. I keep the summary very vague because there's a lot that you shouldn't know before going into this one. This is a book that really you should go into completely blind. This book was so sad. I remember I did cry throughout the last 100 chapters straight. It was so emotional. So there was definitely a lot of heavy topics in this book, which is why a trigger warning is needed if 
you can't handle reading about abuse, depression, things like that. Just be careful when we're going into this book. But if you aren't bothered by those things, I would recommend to give it a try. Especially if you love emotional books that will really hit you. I can't wait to reread this one again, now knowing all the plot twists in it towards the end of the book. And I'd really be curious to read it again and see if there was any foreshadowing, because I'm sure there was. And actually, I do remember there were some foreshadowing moments that I did pick up on, so that was really cool. Love this one, and it's made me want to continue reading more of Colleen Hoover. So those were all of the books that I read this spring, plus the top five books that I read this season. I'll be back at the end of summer for another one of these videos. Let's hope that I have a good summer reading this year. I'm pretty sure I will, because I'm kind of starting to get back into the mood in the, to reading, because I was in a reading slot for a while, but... I'm ready to pick up another, another novel. I really want to. Let me know if you've read any of these books and your thoughts on them because I would really love to know. And if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more bookish related videos and anime videos. And I'll be back really soon. Bye.